Okay, and we're back. I hope you grab some donuts uh, from the audience um, and our snack bar and some pizza. Uh, we're getting ready to jump right back in. So I am very excited to introduce you all to uh, Ben, how do you say your last name? I, <laughs> Jorgensen. Jordan. Welcome. So uh, I think, you know, you really don't need an introduction, but for those of you that don't know, um, ben is the CEO and co-founder of Constellation, and he has an amazing track record of successful companies um, and uh, operational experience, which is something that like I love. Um, but yeah, take us into you know what does it take to be successful in Web three? No, awesome. I, thank you so much, Cindy, for the introduction. Are these virtual donuts? Are these? Uh, are, are, is there actually a live place where people are eating donuts? And yeah, they're, they're vir coffee? virtual mochi donuts. You can choose whether or not you want sprinkles or chocolate covered. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have like an NFT donut that has my name on it and my face. So, uh, you know, that's gonna yeah, be next time we'll prepared. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for the kind and flattering introduction. Um, I, I don't think I've ever thought I'd get to my career where it's like no introduction needed. But um, uh, so that's that's very exciting. I am Ben Jorgensen. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Constellation, um, and I think we want to walk through a, a, a different approach on on talking about Constellation, but kind of the broader Web three industry and our perspective, uh, and try to make this a less less of a pitch, if you will. Um, but to kind of highlight, you know, Constellation uh, Network is the first vertically integrated ecosystem in the Web3 space. Uh, and so what I mean by that is that we are our own native blockchain. Uh, we built that from scratch. We built our own consensus mechanism from scratch. Uh, we have our own DeFi platform called Lattice Exchange, um, our own wallet. And uh, we're introducing consumers and the crypto curious into crypto through our door traffic miner, uh, a piece of hardware that mines cryptocurrency uh, and our currency DAG. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this as we're in such an amazing time. Uh, even with this pullback, I know it's a fun time to go to a conference and there's a pullback and people are freaking out. Uh, but I think this is like, we've seen this time and time again. And um, I feel very confident that, that I can talk through a pitch around what it's going to take to be uh, successful in the Web3 industry. Web3 being the biggest conversation uh, out there, I think. And what we're seeing right now is a shift from the attention economy and the, to the stakeholder economy. And what I mean by that is that we spent uh, many years, two decades, in, or maybe even three decades in the attention economy, where Google and Facebook are mining our, our attention. They're mining our data. And now we're in a shift to the stakeholder economy. Um, and that means that everybody has a choice of and a delegation and an ownership of their data. Um, this is a real empowerment to the individual. Uh, so just kind of a brief highlight of, of Constellation and the different components of our, our network. As I mentioned, uh, we're, we are a truly decentralized network. I think we're one of the only truly decentralized networks with about 120 node operators that secure uh, and validate our cryptocurrency DAG. Uh, we are we have 100% uptime. We've never had any downtime. Uh, we're, we're solving massive problems with this, uh, namely using our network to solve security threats uh, for the DOD. Uh, we have a wallet called the Stargazer wallet where you can buy DAG, ETH, our token LTX, uh, it's on iOS and Android, actually out. Um, it's been out for a month, so this is a little dated. Uh, and we're incubating. So if you're a company that is looking to find their path in the cryptocurrency space, um, join us for our flight program. We have about a, 70 companies learning how to create a token lifecycle vision, uh, launching a white paper to a listing strategy. Uh, we have our DeFi platform called Lattice, where you can back early stage projects. You can uh, create a soft node um, that simulates being a node on our network. And uh, you can learn more about our door traffic miner, uh, where we're taking data that's collected from a, uh, a sensor and we're distributing DAG for that. Um, real kind of revolutionary stuff that I think are, are becoming more valuable um, over the coming years. 
so quickly, very quickly, Constellation prides itself on on being the welcome through the Web three welcome committee. We really want to make it super easy for every individual to come into to crypto, understand how to get activated, how to participate, and get involved. Uh, and we believe that through educational programs, uh, we can navigate the right persona to come in. Uh, we can make it easy. It doesn't have to be very cumbersome and difficult to understand. And through various products, we can activate people and get them to learn how to engage. And so why does this matter? As I mentioned, the attention economy. Um, we've created such a massive problem. We've seen uh, a psychological shift happen over the past six years alone where people are questioning, do I really want to give up my data? Uh, do I really want to um, give it up to Google and Facebook? Yeah, they provide products, but is the value exchange correct? So we're starting to rethink that value exchange. And so the Web 2 is, is, you know, it's going through a massive shift. They have no other opportunity but to go into uh, the metaverse and reinvent themselves. Uh, and they've, they're also have, starting to think of the socioeconomic impacts. The individual is demanding more. And that demand is coming from cryptocurrency. So we're seeing a shift in governance. We believe now people are starting to look at, can I own my own data? Can I control it? Can I monetize my attention in a different way? And so really what we believe is that it's time for, for the internet to grow up. Uh, and that's where this shift to the metaverse is happening. Where else do you go right now? How do you engage in multi-layers of a tokenized economy um, and using blockchain technology to activate communities, to activate governance? Uh, and I think it's a very powerful time to grow up for the internet. Uh, and in many ways, it's a convergence of blockchain. Uh, it's a convergence of crypto. There's my timer. I have one more minute. Uh, it's a convergence of all these different elements coming together, uh, but it's a redefinition of, of equity and ownership, than we've, uh, something that we've never seen before. And so what we kind of see is that the Web3 has really changed people in the dynamic and relationship. Uh, while the internet really transform the way we communicate. We're seeing how we are re-envisioning how we own things. Our impact uh, shifts dramatically where people can have a voice. They can have um, a, a voice through through marketing, through governance that impacts the priorities of a company, that impacts the, the development of a company. And cryptocurrency really empowers that vision. And so this is our chance to redo it. Uh, it's a chance for us to shift our thinking into the stakeholder economy, not just about ownership, but redefining ownership, not in a non-equitable way, but in a marketing way, in a governance way that gives uh, people the ability to direct the outcomes of the Internet. And so the stakeholder economy, I really kind of envision is uh, it's powered by Web3. Uh, that's. That's why this is exciting. And we have so much room to grow. We only see about 10% of people have crypto wallets in the US, uh, but developers are, are flocking over to decentralized ecosystems. If you are a major brand and you are an investor that's having hesitation on this, we, we, have, a, we have like 600 people that applied to work at Constellation last month alone. Um, so we're seeing a massive exodus from Web 2 into Web 3. We're at the early stages, but there's so much upside. Um, and we're seeing those metrics. And so the X factor of crypto really is going to be automating payments and incentives in, into conventional businesses and entrepreneurial activities. What I mean by that is that we're shifting away, we're providing the tools for entrepreneurs uh, to, uh, to monetize their business in a different way, to unlock liquidity. Uh, in much of the way that Airbnb and Uber created tools for people to be their own entrepreneurs and unlock uh, assets that were sinks into their their day to day. Uh, we believe that the stakeholder economy through blockchain can activate the datapreneur uh, to unlock the monetization potentials of your data, whether it's genomic data or foot traffic and sensor data or weather data uh, or your attention. We believe that people can monetize their data in a way that Google and Facebook have done. And we're doing this across 70 plus companies. Um, you know, GeoGM launched uh, is one of our companies that's working with, with us to, con you know, converge a conventional Web2 application 
uh, with the creator economy using DeFi staking pools. They're activating the creator economy. Uh, Mariah Carey actually just announced uh, an NFT opportunity with them today. Uh, this is a very fascinating piece. Um, Alchemy Exchange, for example, is a digital advertising exchange that's being built on Constellation. So taking conventional business like the digital advertising industry and putting it into the Web3 industry. We're seeing casinos come online with double dice. Uh, we're activating fans through fan token. Really amazing use cases that are so different than, than the former years. So uh, I think I went a little over, but um, hopefully the passion was there and delivered. Um, ben Jorgensen, please join us in our, our, our Telegram community at Constellation uh, community. Uh, follow us, uh, get a DTM, uh, get involved. We're here to talk. Thank you.